What's up guys, I'm Jesse, this is my truck, here's my garage, and jump in because we're about to go on a field trip, we're going to the junkyard. Alright dude, we're back at the junkyard. Round 17. Yeah, it just don't stop you. We've like got a lot of good scores at the junkyard. We got that uh there it is. five speed transmission. Oh look, we found an RX8. Miata injectors. Possibly scoring some Miata injectors. So we're back. I'm doing a little something else. We're gonna do like a little challenge. Oh, the paint on this thing is awesome, dude. Um Les is gonna look for some injectors on this RX8. But uh, we're going to grab some parts off of that 2JZ that we pulled a couple times ago and actually see if we can flip them for profit because some of the stuff is pretty sought after when I was looking at doing the swap. We needed some pieces off there. So I was like, hey, we already pulled the motor. So we're going to look at that. Plus there's some other cars out here like this RX-8. Wes wants the injectors off of. So we're going to pull some stuff for some projects try to pull some stuff so you guys can follow along and see how that journey goes see if we can make some money flipping parts and get some stuff that we need well she's right where we left her hole inside of it and everything so yeah we're gonna take some of this apart and see if we can salvage some of our hard work which I think we can keep your fingers crossed Alright, so we got a Z31. Let's see if it has anything that we might be able to use, which I think it does. Bam! That guy right there, we're totally taking that. We're gonna see if we can use a Z31 clutch brake pedal on the Z32 and with enough modification. Anything's possible. So we're gonna take this thing out of here. Now that even looks pretty new. I don't know if that's usable or not. Yeah. Screwdriver. Bonus. Pop those off, see what we can't do. All right, we got some RX-8 fuel injectors. It's for Wes's Miata. He's out here got parts. What did I grab? I don't know if I told you. We got the 2JZ ECU. I'll get back to that clutch pedal. All right, we got our Z31 clutch pedal. Hopefully that'll work on the Z32. We've got our um, throttle body assembly off our 2JZ and then we're over here pulling the 2JZ apart. I'm gonna try and get this head and salvage it. Um, yeah, so we're just plugging away here. I guess I'm gonna do some time lapse. Let's go. Thank you. 
calling it because uh, for one this and two we literally cannot literally cannot get that out of there everything else it's ready to go we would love to take that head with us they're closing we've been over here for a minute spitting blood at it um it's gonna do a tool check get out of here i mean we got good stuff ecu is easy that should be like a hundred dollar bill and that throttle so and we got that so we did good i just wanted this 2j thing but the world does not want me to have 2j stuff so let's get out of here let's go check out what we got how much it all cost all right so i'm all dirty busted my hand up we didn't even get the freaking head off that 2jz i swear that 2jz does not want me to have it it wants to be in the junkyard but so let's take a look at what i was able to get so we scored some of the vents out of those eclipses we ran up on three eclipses and most of the vents were gone out of them we were only able to get three vents total i took two of them wes only needed one so people are definitely after these vents we we're able to source a clutch pedal out of a z31 now i got this for me to see if it'll work i heard people using it in a z32 so we'll try that if not this thing sells for buku bucks anyways this did come off of that 2jz that we've been messing with um and so that 2jz is the non-turbo has the wraparound intake manifold well i've seen people use this on a front facing intake manifold so this is definitely a piece that people want we're able to source this for like 20 bucks ebay has sold listings of 170 so i think we'll be able to flip that for like a massive profit while we were trying to get the head off of that 2jz we had to remove the power steering pulley pump the power steering pump pulley to get to some of the bolts well lo and behold this pulley is worth uh like probably I, there's all kinds of listings i mean a hundred dollars for an oem pulley i was seeing sell and a brand new one i saw sell for 190 so should be able to make a good profit on that i think they charged me like five dollars for this thing so it's intact we'll see when we list it up and of course the two jz ge ecu that i took out of that car beforehand and we know that car is in the junkyard because there's a big old hole in the engine block so this is a good ecu these things sell for anywhere between 100 to 150 dollars so we should be able to flip that for a profit i think they charged me 22 dollars on that so 22 on that five on this 20 on that this was like this was more than the ecu this was what like tw whatever it was it was more than the ecu this was they say 25 so this would have been like 27 and then these were like four bucks a piece so all in all i think i spent about 80 bucks on that's so what we got and we're gonna sell this this and this and these vents and i'll keep that clutch pedal and then wes got these rx8 injectors for his miata he got those for 20 dollars. they're 440 injectors out of an rx8 he's gonna put them on his miata when we do that project I think those actually sell for between 40 and 50 bucks so not bad not insane but not bad i mean a double up is a double up and then of course he got another vent for his deal and we'll see what these vents sell for so that's what we got i did bust my freaking hand open enough I'm, and i had gloves on if anybody knows how to get the cam the variable timing cam out of a 2JZ, let me know in the comments below because I was having a heck of a time. We ended up leaving the head there. I hate to leave that head just for no reason. But we'll get this listed. If you want to see me list this stuff on eBay, put it in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll just check in on this kind of series where we're finding parts to flip for like profit, the junkyard. And uh, we'll check back in and see how we're doing. But that's what we've got. And I think this could be pretty fun and pretty profitable. But so a quick update on our junkyard parts. Now with everything going on, we literally moved across the country. It's been extremely crazy, extremely busy. So I didn't necessarily film packing up and everything with all the junkyard parts. But we did sell two. I listed three items. We listed the throttle body assembly for the 2JZ BVTI um, non-turbo engine. We listed the ECU for that same car and we listed the power steering pulley. <clears throat> now we sold two of those items. We sold the power steering pulley. I believe I sold that like right before we moved here and I really wasn't filming anything. 
And then I also fill, I sold the ECU like right when all of our stuff got delivered here, which was perfect timing <clears throat> because we were here for like two weeks before our stuff got delivered and before I got it all unloaded out of the trailer. So we sold those two. I sold the ECU at like $100, like $90, $89, something like that. And then I sold the power steering pump at 30 bucks. I think I cost the power steering or the power steering pump pulley for 30 bucks. I think I paid like $5 and I pay, think I paid like 25 for that ECU. So huge gains. We still have the um, throttle body assembly for the 2JZ non-turbo for sale. I think I lowered the price to like 150. I added up like 175. So I'm pretty sure that'll go at some point. I had some people hit me up. So that was it. And, uh, We'll continue that. I have to find like new junkyard deal because I like to go to the junkyard. Not only are we obviously making some money on it, which isn't bad, but I just like to go there. Like it's actually fun for me. And then um, finding stuff to flip and make money. I kind of like doing that. I probably, you could probably tell in these videos uh, what the cars that we look at. You follow my Instagram page. We're always like finding cars and posting them up there. Yeah, Danny Z was gonna sell his 300ZX. I got like mad views on our Instagram. So <clears throat> you'll see, I find all kinds of stuff. So we found Danny Z's 300ZX for sale. I don't know if he ever sold it or not. I've been so busy, I haven't been able to catch up with anybody. If you know, hit me up in the comments. And then I will continue to do this just cause it's fun, I'll film it. And uh, yeah, so I hope you learned something on some junkyard parts. We did sell two of the three things. I saw some other ones that we haven't even listed yet. So I'm going to liquidate some more junkyard parts that I have. And we'll probably put it in the same series. Let me know what you think. Thoughts. Thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe. Hi. And we'll see you on the next one. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jesse from Jesse's Garage. We're taking a quick break in the action to remind you if you want to cop your fresh tea and support the garage in style, head over to shopjgarage.com. Find all kinds of stuff there so you can also support the garage and look good doing it. If you want to contact me directly, head over to Instagram at Build Theory. Send me a DM, hit it in the comments below. If you're wanting that next level of service, make sure you go to Patreon or YouTube memberships, which should be launched or launching soon, and you get direct access to me. Ask me all the questions you want, and hopefully I'll be able to help you out. I don't know everything, but I can definitely get you in the right direction. All right, well, that's it for this. Let's get back to the show.